guys, today we're going to be changing out some sanitary, um, traditional vacuums. These things can retail in between uh, 150 to 230 dollars, brand new. It's a traditional model. These are generally for your commercial hotel properties, but if you buy one for home, I mean, you, you did a damn good job. All right, guys. So what we're going to do on these is we're going to uh, dump the bags. We're going to start by dumping these bags. And after we start dumping these bags, we're going to go ahead and check the bottoms of them, uh, clean them out a little bit, and also put in uh, new belts. Uh, if the belts are damaged or frayed at all, we're going to go ahead and swap those out. All right, guys, let me set this thing up so we can get to it. For the bags, let's go ahead and put this thing over. You see, what we got. Let me stand up that for you guys. There's two tabs here that lock this plate in. This helps the suction actually pull the dirt into the vacuum uh, up here. So, what we want to do is uh, we're going to take this off, slide it out. There's two pieces of rubber on each side. Make sure that you have these and make sure that you have them once you put it back. So we're going to go ahead and let me get another glove. We're going to have to clean this thing up so that I can uh, put these belts on that I, I was given. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and take the rest of these off. Let's do it one at a time. Yeah, I got the way. All right, see, this one's already done, but the belt on this one is a little bit frayed. Um... And I'm going to see. I might wait. That was fine. The third one. No belt again. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and lead these off. I'm going to put work out of this, guys. Take too long to do something like this. Uh, I have two more of these plates, so I have all of them that I need. I have all four. All of these are separate parts. I think these are about 30, 40 bucks a piece, so hold on to them. Be careful, especially with this model. Everything's a little pricey. All right, guys, let me see what else I have here. All right, guys, you're going to want to go ahead and put this brush back in. Use your pointed side. If you can see that shape towards the end. 
Do the flat side to be sticking out. Flat side to be facing you once you push this in. Set it up the right way the first time. It spins freely like it's supposed to. All right, next thing you want to do is, some people typically come around the bottom loop and then pull up. I kind of found it a little easier to just stretch it on down. That's it, guys. That's it. Pretty much it, guys. Now we want to go ahead and put this cover back on. Hook it from the top first, let it fall back. Yeah, look, I'm putting your bag back on there, guys. Guys, I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of these things back together. But you see what you get. You get your 10 year vacuum, 20 year vacuum if you're using this thing at the house. And I mean, it's definitely worth it. I'm not sponsored for these people. I just have used these things and I know the capability of them. I mean, uh, as my business continues to further, I'm gonna definitely know uh, to make sure that I buy these before I buy any other vacuum. So, again, guys, if you have a sanitary, traditional commercial uh, vacuum cleaner, that's how you uh, change out your uh, bag, and that's how you uh, put your new belt on. Also, we did a little cleaning of your uh, brushes. Definitely good to take the time while you got this thing broke down to go ahead and clean your brushes. You don't want to have a lot of hair and strings and stuff on them. It's going to affect your cleanliness. So just while you're already at the bottom of this thing, go ahead and clean it all the way out. Thank you guys for uh, watching. And